Good morning, Jenny and Jims. Thank you for clicking on yet another moving vlog. This time we are tackling the office. It's where I'm going to be filming my true crime videos on my other channel. And so I just want to make this a place that just looks like me, it feels cozy, and is a place I want to be all the time. I went ahead and I put up the wallpaper for this wall over here, which is the wall that's going to be behind me when I'm filming. I'm gonna show you the finished product now. Are you ready? Okay. Look at that. I got this from Target. It was a little bit expensive, but I think it looks so good on the wall. It shows more yellow on the website, but it's more of a golden mustard color and it just looks so good. I feel like it looks like those vintage vanity like mirrors and I have a bookshelf. It's pretty tall, I think, <laughs> that I need to put together. There's that, there's all of this. And then I have stuff over here. I'm not gonna show you everything yet because it's some new stuff. So I don't have everything that I will want for this room, especially like for the shelving unit. My mom and I actually went shopping today and we did find a few things that I really liked, but I wanna take my time getting it to make sure that it's things that actually like make me feel happy and aren't just like things that are up there to fill a void. I think that's something to really focus on when you are decorating is to make sure that it is something you will want to look at that it has either meaning to you or just makes you feel joy because if you are just filling this void within you or this space with clutter and junk just to fill the space that's all it's going to feel like to you is junk I've been working on this bookshelf putting it together and the consistency is I either don't have a good enough screwdriver or my hands aren't strong enough to actually put in these screws for whatever reason I, I some of them will go in but others I just cannot get to go in anymore and it's so frustrating because I really pride myself in like being able to do stuff but I also know that it's okay to ask for help and so I actually FaceTimed my mom and dad and was asking them what they thought and then finally my dad was like I'd be more than happy to come over and help you and so they don't live too far away so he's actually going to come over and help me which is super super sweet. So I was going to show you guys this little set here. I just got these off of the Target website because I was wanting something where I could sit to film in but also to be like a lounge little chair to be able to put my feet up and read. And so I got these from Target. Let's see. They still have the tag on them. So this is the... Um, Elroy Sherpa accent chair and it's actually made of that super soft Sherpa material that you like get in the blankets and this is detachable so it looks like this but I like the pillow on it because it gives it some height to it and then this comes separately the little ottoman and it is Elroy oh no there we go 
Elroy Sherpa Ottoman and it has the same brown legs as the chair does. I'm thinking of putting it pretty close to the bookshelf and kind of turning it inwards like that. So with my adorable cat, that's what it looks like. There's definitely more space on this side. So I'm kind of wondering if I should shift everything over. I also have this guy, which is something I actually made. So it's a suitcase from a thrift store that I made into a table by just buying these legs off of Amazon and literally just screwing them in. So easy to make and I think it's so cute, so different, but I just don't know where I should put it. Now, let's move to this side, which is just the opposite side of the room. And originally I was gonna put my desk over here on this wall, but I realized if I want to film, I have a cuter setup here. And so I don't really want my desk to be in it, at least right now. I want it to be like a separate space for my desk, a separate place for filming. <laughs> this thing just got stuck to my hair. How does that... <laughs> I don't think that every YouTuber probably goes to this extreme. Um, some don't need a designated filming area, of course. Some just like to, you know, film on their bed or in their rooms and that's totally amazing. For me, I feel like I have to look a little more professional or I like to because of the content that I make. You know, true crime, talking about victims, I at least want to look, you know, put together. But look how that Edison bulb looks in there. I love the little shadows it makes on the walls. I put a plant on this little table over here for now. And then I kind of like the idea of putting this one on one of the shelves. But as long as it doesn't look like it's crushed. If you want to come with me to grab some of the stuff I got today. And my living room is literally a mess. But I'm not going to show you until I put it up. And it's really hard to hold. Also, if you guys want me to do like a day in the life of a YouTuber, um, I can definitely do that. It's not as fun as some YouTubers because I do research a lot. So that takes a lot of my time. I wouldn't have it any different, but it's just different than, you know, I'm not just making beauty videos or doing anything like that. And I'm sure it takes a lot of time for them too. And it takes a lot of work. It's just different work. It did more boring work when you're researching so it won't be the most fun vlog but i can try to make it fun and tell you kind of like some of the back end stuff that i do so it's not perfect well my cat is but the shelves aren't perfect but i do really really like them how they are so this is how i'm going to leave them for now so these little candles i need to put batteries in and this shelf, this one, and this one. I don't have anything on the bottom yet, but Katniss will want to get on there anyway. So it looks, isn't it so cute? I got her from Burlington Coat Factory. I got this one from a store called Tuesday Mornings. Um, this is a thrifted plant. Love that one. You've seen it before. And then, <laughs> hello, this is actually a mirror. This one's regular mirror. And this one's super close. And I got this at a store called At Home. And I loved it so much. And I just thought that it would match real well. Like you can see it even matches the wallpaper really well. And then this girl is from a thrift store. And then of course we have these up here. You can get these a lot of places. Um, I think I link some from Amazon below, but they're just flameless candles that you put batteries in that flicker and make it look really vintage-y. And then I found that I actually have a yellow blanket that I was gonna use in my living room, but it's too close to the same yellow color, but yet not close enough, so it looks weird. But I figured it would be perfect and here on that little chair. So I'm gonna fold it up and put it on there as something to cuddle up with when 
I come in here to read. Okay, I could wait until tomorrow until the lighting is a little bit better to show you, but I am just too excited and I want to show you right now. I think it is a complete transformation in here. I absolutely love it and I feel like it's going to make me get so much work done. As soon as you walk into the office, this is what you see. So I'm going to start over here have a little gym lamp you have my table and chair table is from target chair is from ross lamps are from ross if i can find any of these things online they will be linked down below i have a mac desktop and then this phone case is from case to buy and then this little mouse pad is from target i thought the pink and the yellow went really well together and then there's another little gem light so cute have my cat spot my cat resort got this off of amazon let me come over here to this cute little table and then we have my bookshelf and then we have my chair i just really love how all of this looks and ties together I love the greenery with it. I think it just looks so cozy. Like I was going for like living in a library kind of vibe. So I really hope that you think I captured that because it makes me extremely happy. Now this is the only corner that I feel a little weird about and I need to put this way so you can't see it. But I don't have anything here yet. I'm wanting to do some sort of um, cork board, marker board, something with my goals for my YouTube channel, my life, my future, just all of that and possibly hold like markers or something on this little table. But I feel like it just, it kind of fits perfectly there even if it looks a little odd for now. I still think it's super cute. So yeah, I really like it. I think that it is exactly what I wanted. Yeah, let me know what you would have changed, what you like, and if you're going to redo your office next. Cause if so, please let me know. Please either tag me in a photo or something on Instagram at Brooke McKenna underscore or just, you know, tell me about it in the comment below. I'd love to know. I'm also thinking maybe I should get a little rug for in here somewhere just to, you know, break up all this lovely grayish carpet. I mean, it looks like brand new carpet. Like, it's not bad for carpeting. But it's just not, you know, a style. Like, I'd, I'd love to have, like, a wood floor. I'm gonna come and sit in my chair. <laughs> so, so cute. Um, if you want more videos about the day in the life of a full-time YouTuber or just anything to do with it, I would love to share with you. Thank you for watching. Bye.